Good day and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the holiday edition of Upscale Bartending 101. I'm your host, Brett Winklemeyer. And yes, you heard me correctly, I said ladies and gentlemen, because I don't know if you know it, but nowadays, ladies are doing all kinds of things, and they can even become bartenders. I know, it's a crazy world in which we live. I mean, next, next they'll want the vote. <laughs> I'm kidding, ladies. You, you dames are precious with your, with your equal rights. Ah, uh, anyway. After this series of live lectures that we have, you will be ready to be bought into the finest upscale establishments in town. So, tonight what we'll be doing is taking a few classic cocktails and giving them a little bit of a twist. Because nowadays, we can't just become bartenders, we have to be mixologists. So, first on our list is the classic gin martini. Now, your normal gin martini is with uh, gin, obviously. Uh, dry vermouth, and it is garnished with an olive. Uh, but today, what we'll be doing to give it a little bit of twist is um, we'll be starting with the gin, naturally. Again, here we go. Give it a little bit of that. Okay. And next we'll be adding, instead of vermouth, uh, is, this, is this right? I should. Ah, instead of a mousse, we'll be adding, um, red wine. Okay, so uh, add a bit of that, and, uh, all right. And then uh, we'll just add uh, the ice to the shaker here. All right, give it a little bit of a shake. Shake it. Okay, <laughs> it's purple. Um... Alright, and then we'll, uh, that's weird, uh, get our martini glass and strain it in there, give it a nice little pour, oh, doesn't that look good, um, okay, and then, uh, instead of the garnish with the olive, we have, um, we have a whole orange, so, okay. let's give it a try, shall we? Right up. Hmm. Hmm. That's uh. That's uh. M moving on. Okay. Ah. For our next updated drink, we have um. Ah yes, the classic Manhattan. Now, uh, the Manhattan is classically made with bourbon, bitters, uh, sweet vermouth. And um, usually garnished with a maraschino cherry or a slice of orange or maybe both. Now, for this updated version of the drink, we use uh, we use the bourbon. Let's go ahead and pour that in there. All right, yeah, that's got it. And uh, we we keep the bitters. Um, yeah. We go ahead and add the bitters to it, and uh, then uh, instead of the sweet vermouth, we uh, we use um, high sodium chicken stock. Of course. So uh, that in that, oh, it looks delicious, go doesn't ahead and it? Give that a bit of a stir. Mix it all up in there. Oh, that looks that looks good. And yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and forget the garnish and. Um, Let's just go ahead and forget that drip. Let's try it! Okay, it looks wonderful. Ah, mmm, bottoms up to you. Mmm, mmm, that's uh, that's not, that's not good. Ah, uh, pro probably a little too much of the high uh, sodium chicken stock there. Duh. Tastes like whiskey from the Dead Sea. Okay, moving on. Uh, for our next drink, and for our far last drink, oh, thank God, um, we're going back to old Mexico, where we take on the humble margarita. All right, so your basic margarita is made with tequila, sweet and sour, lime juice, and triple sec. And then it's garnished with lime and salt around the rim of your glass if you're feeling really sexy. So, for this updated version, we'll go ahead and keep the tequila, and we're going to need a little something extra. 
which is about Blenda. Yeah, that's right, we're gonna make this one frozen. All right, so let's go ahead and add the tequila in there. And don't be shy with it. Your patrons will thank you. Okay, tequila all in there. And then, uh, uh, and then we add, um, oh, come on! Come on! Where do you even get that? It's <laughs> and then, uh, and then to the tequila we add a jigger of human blood. Mmm, mmm, hearty. It's like, it's like a meal in a, in a glass. Okay, and then, uh, then we go ahead and we add the, the triple stack, the triple sack, uh, that stays, of course, like you do. There you go, triple sack. And then we add the sweet and sour, why fucking not? Okay, it's already looking good. All right. Let's go ahead and get some ice and put her on the old blendy tube, or as we like to call it in the down under, the whirly foozle. All right. All right. Now that we've got her all blended up, we take our classic margarita glass. Go ahead and pour her on in there. Oh, doesn't that look magical? I feel like I'm I'm back in old Mexico already. And then uh, we garnish with. Um, Oh, of course, we're, we're garnished with a little bit of ground cumin. Like, d delicious. And then, um... And then, a healthy dose of... of still damp shower hair. Mmm! Uh. Oh, it's, it's, ma it's like... Oh, it's like magic in a glass. Ah, oh, the ad wizards have really outdone themselves with this update, have they not, ladies and gentlemen? No. No. I'm not, I'm not trying that. No, it's disgusting. Look at it. It's got my hair. Those gross. I'm not... Yes. Yes. Yes, I would like to get paid. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a try. This will be good. Okay. Oh, it's all bloody and cumin-y and fluffy on the top. Mm -hmm. 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 Oh, it's cute. It's cool. It's really cool. I think I pooped. Oh. So, that's all for this installment of, uh, of Scale Bartending 101. I've been your host, Wink Finkelmeyer, and uh, tune in next time to our next live installment entitled uh, <laughs> The Magic of the Liver Pate Cocktail. This is me signing off, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Who even thought of this?